Good morning. Do you pray? I, I reckon you probably do. And it's a good thing to pray, isn't it? It's, it's a great way to show that we have faith, that we trust God to bring all these things before him. What do you pray for? See, I wonder if you pray for more stuff. Please, God, give me some more Xbox games. And then you wake up the mo next morning and they're not there. And you think, has God heard my prayer? Or maybe you pray for more toys. A and you wake up the next morning and there aren't more toys. And you think, has God heard my prayer? Or maybe you pray for people, people you love. And it seems like God doesn't answer his prayer, the prayers that you're asking him. Well, our little story, which you heard a moment ago, helps us to think about that, doesn't it? Did you notice that this desperate widow was nagging and nagging and nagging the judge? Now, here's the thing. God is even better than the judge in the story. So the judge in the story was a bit kind of, oh, honestly, why should I have to bother with this woman? God's not like that. He loves to hear your prayers. But did you notice the widow in the story was crying out for justice, for fairness? And so you see, when we pray, we should be praying for fairness, for justice. Maybe you've seen a little bit of that on the news this week uh, with lots of uh, people crying out for fairness uh, for the way uh, black people are treated. And that's right. We should be crying out to God for justice, for fairness. But you know, there are lots of Christians, brothers and sisters of ours around the world who are treated really badly just because they love and trust Jesus. And so we should be crying out day and night, as our little story says, that God would bring justice for them, act fairly. And God loves to hear us as we pray and he, he loves to answer our prayers as we cry out for our brothers and sisters in Iran and Iraq and North Korea and Eritrea and all these countries around the world. Maybe you could pray for some of them in a minute. Because you see, one day Jesus is going to come back. We saw that last week, didn't we? And he will bring justice. But his question is, will he find faith when he comes? Will he find his people crying out to him day and night, praying, asking him to bring justice for those who are struggling, for those who are oppressed. Is that going to be you?